and welcome to another Yuki's video. And probably the last in this one of the uh, uh, Formula One car, racing car, whatever you want to call it. Now what we'll be doing is the wheels and some suspension and uh, a little cup it comes with, a winner's cup so. Now I'm going to do one wheel, you can make one wheel three times. The two rear wheels and the spare wheel. I'll do one on the camera and I'll build the other three, off, the other two off camera, so there's no point doing them all on my camera because it takes a while to do. So what you do is you get a number 88 uh, on board number 5, I also use Emery board, that's why I tried to remember what it was called from the last video, which is this morning, today actually, so not long ago. There's two holes in the back here, so you put the toothpicks that you've cut in half. Through them all the way, so they're poking, they're poking all the way through the end. So they're basically flush with the end there. Then you get a number 95, which is part wheel. Uh, it's a massive piece. The size of that. Okay, might as well just move off the ends. And again, there's two holes in here. These are not a specific way round, so you might as well just poke them through either way. And then break off the ends of the toothpicks and cut the excess probably best. Make it nice and neat. Obviously, once I've done these, number three, uh, the front wheels are probably the same sort of build. This and the front wheels are basically the same build, just slightly different, yeah. The front wheels are basically the same, but we'll see that later. So put that to the side for now. You get a 93. One of these long, one of these surround ones. Again, and we board. Or whatever you're using. There's models written on here. If you have that at the top, then you've got three holes one, two, three. You put the toothpicks through. Let's make sure we get the right ones. Don't want the other holes are full yet, so. so that's all going through there. Make sure you have the right holes. And you get a build we just done. Have it so the part goes through that part there. I could build another two of these in a bit, so. <laughs> be fun. That's pretty cool. Like that. Make sure you get it right, still the right way around. Yep. So that's quite cool, don't it? Don't break off the two picks yet. And you need three numbers, night sixes, which are break pars. Which I have no idea where they are. Oh, those are these 
those these things. So feelings. Balls or whatever you're using. Now you want to have it so that I don't think it matters at the moment, but I'll have it the same way it says models on the top right. And for each. 93, uh, 96 on each, uh, for each toothpick. I think these act as brakes, but whether they break or not, I don't know. We'll see. Specific way around, clearly. Specific way around they go. Then you need another knife free. He loves these parts, just make one meet and will. with the models again. This time top left it shows for some reason. So it looks like that. Nice. Break off the uh, two big settings. You can eat, eat them up, obviously. Then you get a rubber, the big rubber band, and you put it around the whole thing. That's just sitting like quite nicely around the wheel now. And you do this really weird thing. Right, so you get this weird tool and you push the rubber band in the holes here. And you put toothpick through each of the hole and you put the toothpick yeah it's complicated uh, weird It's underneath the rubber band in the holes, like that. Again, you break the break the toothpick off. You do it with all three holes, like that. And uh, you do it with two more wheels. And I'll do that, and I'll be back when I've done all three wheels. Yeah. But that took a little while to do all three wheels, but they're all identical, so. That's a good thing. Right, on every wheel, I don't know if you're about to see it, there's a, white, a black line just above each wheel on that side. On every wheel. So, just keep an eye what way around that is. We need to put that right on the, onto the chassis. You need to cut. Uh, 
some toothpicks for this top size here. I've got loads of bits cut left cut over, so I'm going to use those to cut them up slightly. I need uh, two, four, so far. For now, four of these. These are to keep the uh, wheel in place and the chassis, so. Sometimes it'll take your time cutting the right size. You don't have to lose any part then. <laughs> chassis and what you, what you need to do is put it on the chassis so that the line is pointing upwards uh, way around sorry so the line is pointing upwards two little bits on either side see there's little holes there probably best to get some tweezers or something like that for this because these aren't easy to put in I'll do that, I'll be back with you in a second. Oh, them two tiny little bits took ages to get in there. Not going to bleed for they would be. It just won't easy to line up in the slightest. And then what you do is, in number 97s, which is one of the, one of them, I'm not sure what one. 97, where's 97? Second ones at the back, and they've got a line on it as well. On top, line up with the line that was on the other one. Might as well. And then you get uh, so press on the end there. Then you get. A toothpick again and use a little cutter thing and it you use this top left one. That's how I want. Yeah, this top left one here to cut off one part. That'll just fit through the axle to hold that wheel in place. Easier than the last bean piece. Yeah, a lot easier. <laughs> Jeez. Still not easy, don't get me wrong, but easier than the last piece. Some poking out both sides. Is that we want in place? 
and it still turns. Right, so what you gotta do is just do the exact same to this side. We have any other, any other wheels. Uh, I'll do that off camera because that's gonna take me leading ages to do, especially in two little bits. And then when I've done that, I'll be back for you to put a spare on in it. I right, so both wheel back wheels on. Took me a little bit it was a bit easier the second time around, but still weren't easy to put on. But look at this nice and secure, quite good bit. So you get a third wheel you built. And what it does, it goes in and you have to pull these apart slightly to fill it in. Put it in an angle like that. Then you get another 133 and put that in the post in the end. Let's hold that with spare wheel on. Let's see, this in the done to first. the uh, spare wheel put on the back here. I was going to show you how to build the front wheels but they're exactly the same. Just follow the same steps, you build two of them the same as the rear wheels. Uh, there's no point in me showing you how to do them at the moment so I'll do that off camera and I'll be back to you in about 10 hours of time. Right that's finally done, they both wheels are done. The little tool to help put the elastic bands on that almost broke so it won't make life easy at all. So now we start with suspension so you get rubber but the smaller rubber bands, double them up. Both of them, two of them. Make a that's what you gotta do, double them up like that. And then poking through the holes of um Part 99. That's going to be easier said than done, I know that for a fact. <laughs> That's not too bad. So you've got both ends on either side. Just like that. So you put them through both sides. Some reason. <laughs> Don't ask why. Don't know yet. Right, so you get the chassis and you start the front. This is to wax up this some reason. And then Poke that through the hole in the front of the chassis. Just slightly. A oh, steering as well. So it's this steering, not uh, suspension, sorry. And then what you do, best to, probably best to turn it upside down, is hook both sides, one side, over the back of the chassis. There. and the other side over the front of the chassis 
like so. It's pretty simple to do. It would be a lot harder than that. <laughs> I think a lot of bits that looked easy have been hard. A lot of bits that look hard look, look pretty easy. So. And that's all. I think I'm going to help it sort of steer. I think. Turn the page. I need part 100. Which is this weird hook part. And what it does, it goes in the steering. See the hook of the steering here. I think. Somehow. steering so that might be the uh, yeah yeah if you turn the steering so the hook is all the way to the end then you can actually put this on better and have it so that this slots here are facing the back of the car on hooks over the where the steering part you just put in like so. so then we turn the steering left and right you do things easy. Just about. <laughs> Very strange mechanism, but I'll put these on straight so they're straight now. You need part 101. This part, and it goes on the bottom, the weird hook part you've just put in. And that's broke. Oh my god. Please save the spare. Please send this a spare. Great. Just great. Give spare parts of bits you don't need. A bit that literally just snapped in pieces. They don't give me a spare. I'm gonna have to soup I'm gonna have to glue this in place. I've got no other choice. I'm gonna have to glue this part on. Oh, that's a pain in the ass. Alright, I'm gonna have to leave it that that for now anyway. Um uh, not far from finished either. Alright, I'm gonna do this uh be Back next day. It was five seconds time for you. Mate. That's it. That's the race car done. And don't have to say this. It don't work. Like the train, it don't work. I did everything to the specs. I put the candle wax on everything. And it don't work whatsoever. I don't know why. It might be something stupid that I haven't done, maybe, or something broke along the way, but. Yeah, you know, I did some things that are off camera because I just ran out of time. Yeah, let me know if anything else, if anyone's had the same problem. I'll show you what problem is in a sec. Um, there's a camera angle a bit. But I'm going to leave it as it is for now. And then uh, if I get any help 
uh, if anyone can help me let me know in the comments and I'll if it does work I'll do another video and give you a shout out and see that you help me out and let me know I'll tell everyone what happened alright so what I did off camera was I put the front wheels on the front suspension the front suspension arm broke as well snapped right there as you can see but I used some wood glue and some uh, tiny little clamps which my girlfriend had quite quite cool quite powerful as well and that seemed to stack in place little clamps so everything works on it well ish anyway the front steering moves so that's one thing that works <laughs> you got this um, crank like in the old days you put in the front hole there and then you turn it clockwise six times. It says one, two, I lost count how many times that was. But as you see, it's swinging all the way back. You can see the, um, you can see inside the plastic bands twisted but it's not twisted much it does seem to be staying in place when you twist it up but I don't know if that's something I've done or what's going on to be honest it's probably uh let's see what happens if I do this when I say so maybe if I put the Launch control on, off even for now. Let's see what happens. Let's show your girlfriend says hi. She's in the background <laughs> in the other room at the moment. I'm still doing that. Let's try that. But let's see what happens if I do that. Nah, it still wants to, still wants to uh, think back. Yeah, even. Even if I just push the front wheels along, it's not engaging on any of the gears and the side of the engine, nothing. The engine's not even moving when I do the front wheels, back and forth, back wheels. So, I really don't know what's going on to be honest. I don't know what I've done. If you can help me, let me know. Um, yeah, for £60, you think you'll get a working one, yeah? Get a working one quite easily. Like the uh, new gears train, it's not working as well. But I tried, I really tried. <sighs> That's a shame, isn't it? Uh, if anyone can help me, let me know. Um, as I said in the comments already. Uh, what? Yeah, it's just number here. Okay, whatever that means. Girlfriend's crazy as always. But, true though. But anyway. I, um, this might be the last video of this few gears, but if not, there will be one more showing it working. Hopefully, if anyone can help. Right, that's that. Um, hopefully, see you soon with a working car. Bye.